Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. I've been to Vegas a few times in my life, um, and it's not exactly the place that I go, wow, I really like to go back there. And it's nothing against Vegas itself, but Vegas is its own world. It really is. Uh, everything, everything in Vegas, um, it's, it's, it's different. Um, and, you know, of course, they advertise, you know, everything that you know, happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And if you've never been there, I, I, there's a good chance you'd be overwhelmed by it when you first saw it, uh, you spent time there. But um, George sent me notes to Steve, check this out now. And this has been widely reported, although it's kind of a short story. Uh, but from Men's Journal is this version by Chris Malone Mendez. You can now face jail time in Las Vegas if you stop walking in certain areas. <laughs> Keep moving. <laughs> Keep moving. Now, <laughs> here's the thing. If you go to Vegas... Okay, there's a lot of stuff happening in Vegas. There's casinos, there's restaurants, there's bars, there's there's all kinds of stuff there. There's hotels, and it's a it's a huge tourist destination. Now, you know, there are people who live there uh, who work in the industry. There's a lot of people who just live there because it's a town. Uh, but if you go there, you want to walk up and down the strip, and there's a section, the main section where all the big casinos are. You walk by, see the fountains at the Bellagio, that kind of thing. And it is a spectacle. The whole place is a big spectacle. It's designed to overwhelm you. It really is. And so you go into a casino, and there's all kinds of flashing lights and, and, and bright lights and all kinds of stuff happening. When you step outside, it's the same way. It's, it's a little, I mean, it's, it's a little different. You're outside rather than inside. But that, that glitz and glamour is outside, too. So when you're walking up and down the strip, just soaking it all in, you're tempted to stop and look and gawk like a, like a tourist, you know? <laughs> And a lot of people will stop and take selfies. And so apparently they're now saying that what they want to try to crack down on is the people who are clogging up the walkways by stopping and taking selfies. And, oh, no, here, you take a picture of me. No, I'll take a picture of you. Okay. Hey, hey can you take our picture? You know, and next thing you know, there's a, a, a conglomeration of people not moving on the sidewalk in front of something. So the county says this is about safety. But the Las Vegas Strip attracts millions of visitors every year thanks to the glitz and glam of Sin City and the bright lights that make it a city that truly never sleeps. If you find yourself on the Strip, be sure to take it all in, but just don't stop to take a picture. Keep moving, keep moving. A new county ordinance, and this is a county ordinance, took effect that bans stopping, standing, or engaging in any activity that causes another person to stop on certain parts of the Strip. So you can stop, but the second your stopping causes someone else to stop, you've, 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 you've broken the law. Tourists often stop on the pedestrian bridges to take photos of all the casino lights or to watch street performers, but that practice can soon land you behind bars. People who violate the new law could be charged with a misdemeanor and face up to six months in jail or a $1,000 fine for their actions. I suspect that the primary thing that's going to happen with this law is it empowers the police to tell people to move it along. Move it along, move it along. If you don't, you're violating this law. I, I think that's what it's going to be. Will they go out and start cracking down and arresting people who take selfies? I find that hard to believe because that wouldn't be good for business. But like I said, it gives the police another tool. The new ordinance aims to crack down on people who stop in these newly designated pedestrian flow zones, which include bridges, and up to 20 feet surrounding the stairs or escalators connecting them to the ground. Critics of the law, like the Nevada ACLU executive director, believe that it makes criminals out of ordinary Nevadans, stopping for a mere moment on the pedestrian bridges they fund as taxpayers. Clark County, for its part, said in a statement to the Las Vegas Review Journal that the law is not meant to stop people from moving entirely. Um, and here's the thing. Not to stop people from moving entirely. Well, no, they, they got to keep moving. It's not to stop people from stopping entirely. <laughs> but I have to guess that 99% of the foot traffic on the Strip is from out of town. The idea that locals paid for that bridge, yeah, but it's tourists who are clogging it up. Trust me on that one. This is not interpreted to mean that tourists and locals cannot take photos along the boulevard while on a pedestrian bridge, but rather it is intended to maintain the safe and continuous movement of pedestrians on the bridges to ensure pedestrian safety on the bridges. Next time you're in Vegas, just snap all your photos from the street and take a mental picture of the views from the pedestrian bridges. Um, you know, I know some people right now who've seen a lot of my shows are going, wait, Steve, 
You don't drink. You probably don't gamble. You don't smoke. What do you do? And why would you be in Vegas? <laughs> Been to Vegas all of three times, I think. And, and I, 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 w- I went with other people who said it would be fun. And um, you got to understand, there's just, you know, no offense. I, 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 it just, it, it didn't have a whole lot for me. It just didn't. And, you know, I, I remember walking through a couple of casinos and watching the action. And I understand how some of these games work. Um, and, you know, um, it, it, I, I didn't have a burning urge to sit down and start playing blackjack. I didn't. Um, and I, I walked by the, the, the pretty roulette wheel as it's spinning and balls going round and round. And no, no. And, and, and you watch and, you know, occasionally you hear someone screaming over here because they, they hit the big one over here, you know, and then someone else screaming over here. But you also walk by and there's somebody like a zombie just sitting there poking at a poker machine, which seems ironic. Um, you know, video poker, just, just, just all, all day long, just, just, just making motions with, <laughs> and, and, and you can almost imagine this machine making a giant sucking sound as, as it swallows the money of the player. Um, but no, no, and so, you know, walked around, but one of the things, and, and I hope they've cracked down on this, because once in a while, I'll describe something that happened to me, and I'll say, yeah, this happened to me a few years ago. And someone will go, well, Steve, that had to have happened to you over 15 years ago because things have changed. And they'll explain why. I'm like, oh, possibly. The story I told you is an old story. So the last time I was in Vegas, let me think about this now, would have been almost 20 years ago. (laughs) So it's been a while. (laughs) It's been a while. And when I was in Vegas, okay, a bunch of these big casinos, the, 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 the real anchor casinos, they were there, you know, so I've, I've walked through the Bellagio, I've, I've been inside the Luxor, I've, 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 I've seen these things, okay? But, but the one thing I remember most vividly is how impossible it was to walk on the street without being accosted by people who are handing out flyers or, or, or cards or little pieces of paper advertising things that were slightly off the strip, so, in other words, you can go into the Bellagio right there after you've seen the fountain show for a few minutes. Or you can go two blocks over where they've got girls, 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 you know. And you literally had to dodge around these people because if you threw away what they handed you, there's another guy 10 feet down the street handing you the exact same thing. He goes, oh, you haven't got one, yet. and he's trying to give it to you. So then you hang on to it, so the next guy comes up to you, you go, you like this, I've already got it. And the guy steps... but. I remember we were joking about this. Me and my friends were joking about this, going, what is with these guys? They act like it's their job, not just their job, but like their purpose in life to, to, to make sure you go see this show that's three blocks over that way. <laughs> it's a reason it's three blocks over that way, because it ain't worth going to see, okay? But I remember that. So if I was in charge of ordinances in Vegas, if that was still a problem, I don't know if it is, maybe they cracked down on it, but if that was still a problem, I'd crack down on that. I'd say it's illegal to block somebody on the strip while they're walking in an attempt to give them something or force them to take something from you. Because, I mean, I literally felt like I was running a, a slalom course, trying to get around these guys, handing out this junk. I remember that vividly, vividly. So there you go. But um, <laughs> keep in mind, there is now a new law in Vegas. If you go there a lot, you need to know this. And I doubt they'll ticket you just because they saw you take a selfie. But if you and your buddies are drunk and you're on a bridge and you're all taking selfies, I love you, dude, I love you. And, and you're all drunk and you're all doing this crazy, crazy stuff. And you cause a blockage, someone's going to get ticketed. Okay, there you go. So, George, thanks for sending it. You can now face jail time in Vegas if you stop walking in certain areas. Chris Malone Mendez wrote that one from Men's Journal. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Leto's Law. Friendship has a stronger effect on happiness than income.